Hello everybody, it's Steve Guzzetti again, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. And here we are in part two of our tutorial series on creating a DVD menu structure with Premiere Elements. Now in part one, we added the little green menu markers to our timeline. These are scene markers, which the menus are going to link to once we create our menu. To add our menu template itself, go up here to the toolbar on the right, click on the toolkit, and down at the bottom, select Movie Menu. There is a very nice library of available templates here. Whenever you see a template or an effect that has a little blue flag over it in Premiere Elements, it means it hasn't yet been downloaded to your computer, but the very first time you use it, it will be automatically downloaded and then be yours forevermore. Now, a number of these, you'll notice, have drop zones. In fact, virtually all of them have little drop zones in them. These are little spaces where you can drop a still photo or a video to kind of help customize your movie menu. And a number of these have some animation or some background music to them, which you can replace with your own custom if you'd like. Let's go back here to the slideshow category. This one called pan and zoom is automatically on your computer. So rather than work with downloads right now, we're just gonna work with this existing template. We'll select pan and zoom and click continue. And there it is. I'm gonna drag on the seam here between the timeline and the monitor panel just to expand it a little bit. This is our movie menu template. It's kind of basic and generic, but we can do some customization to it. So to modify any of the text that appears on our movie menu, all we need to do is select the text block, double click on it, and we can customize the text itself. We can also, with the text box selected, we can also modify the font, of course, by coming over here to the adjustments panel. And we can change the color of it. And then we can actually change the location of some of the elements here on our movie menu. So we can drag these elements around, not just the text elements, but if there are any graphics, like for instance, this gray area at the bottom, we can change its size, shape, or location also. Now I told you that some of the movie menu templates have drop zones in them where you can drop in your own custom media, drop in your own custom photo or video clip. This particular menu, the pan and zoom menu, when you replace the media on the menu itself, it's actually going to replace the entire background. So this is a menu that can be fully customized. I'm going to just click to select the background. And you notice over here on the adjustments panel, I have options for browsing to a video or still for the background and for adding my own custom audio. So let's browse to a video clip by clicking on the browse button and click open. And there you see it replaces the entire movie menu background. Now I can choose to either have that be a 30 second video loop. I actually prefer to use it as a still frame. So I can click on use a still frame. And I can also browse to add my own custom music. As I say, a number of these menus have the music already uh, included in the menu template. And you can replace that with your own custom music if you'd like. And now we can preview it. Now I have to warn you, once I click preview, it's going to look kind of ugly. The preview is a very low resolution preview. So don't worry about how it looks. It's going to look great when you output your DVD. Just going to look a little bit ugly when we preview it. We're mostly previewing it to test the animation. So let's click preview disc. And this is the scene menu. We can go back to our main menu and click exit to close it. Now, the templates are very nice as is. You can drop things into the drop zone and there's a surprising amount of customization you can do in creating your own DVD templates also. But as I say, I like that the program includes the ability to author or create your own disk menus right here on the timeline in Premiere Elements without actually leaving your project. It's integrated right into the program. If you want to know more about this program, check out our library of tips and tricks at moviepix.com. And if you want to know everything about the program, You'll want to check out the moviepix.com guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. It's available at Amazon.com. I'm Steve Rossetti. Thanks for joining me. I hope to see you again real soon.